Coca-Cola journey. In 2011, just last year, the Coca-Cola company launched, we don't call it a website, we call it a web magazine. It, within this site, it is the thecocacolacompany.com if you wanna, wanna find it. Within this site, we basically are self-publishing stories and we're also working with third parties uh, to do editorials. Uh, the slide is hard to read up at the top. You can see the different categories. You have uh, uh, entertainment, food, culture, sports. Uh, you'll notice uh, heritage and sustainability. The astounding number to, well, the, the, the site gets hum tremendous viewing. I think the numbers are up at 1.2 million visitors or so per month. It has a higher readership than the Chicago Sun-Times uh, and more visitors than aljazeera.com on a monthly basis. It, it has tremendous readership. And the third party editorials that we've been uh, producing have drawn in great traffic. It doesn't hurt as well that you have LeBron James on your cover for, uh, for a month every year. Uh, the second most searched site, or the, the second most viewed category after jobs, jobs is always number one, is heritage. It astounded the team that put this together, thought that heritage would just be a nice add-on, but that the sports and sustainability. The second most people coming in are coming in for heritage. Uh, and every single month, uh, we, we dropped the third one month when they put a Coca-Cola cake recipe up there uh, in the Food Channel, but uh, Heritage is the second most viewed site. Uh, here's our page. Uh, our team, our archives team pens these articles or we work with third party people uh, to write the stories uh, with us. Uh, on there you can see we actually worked with the Ray Charles Foundation and wrote a story about Coca-Cola and music and the different ads that Ray Charles had done. Uh, the Coke and baseball one that, that's up on top, Coca-Cola was actually uh, responsible for Jackie Robinson uh, breaking the color barrier in Atlanta, Georgia in 1949. So another good news story that we get out there. These heritage stories we pen uh, constantly. They, the, the, the Journey team, editorial team, is, is excited enough about our heritage content that they're about to give us a whole separate section of the Journey website. Uh, so if you enjoy Coca-Cola Heritage, uh, stop by and, and uh, take a look at, at the site. The other thing it allows us to do is to proactively work with different partners. Uh, you're gonna, I'm gonna preview a story for you that's gonna post probably by the end of this week. On November 12th, the famous Andy Warhol painting, Coca-Cola number three, uh, if, do we have any Andy Warhol fans? This painting is the painting that started the pop art movement. Andy Warhol did four Coca-Cola bottles. He did one in an abstract form, and then two others that he added different elements to. But Coca-Cola number three was the only one that he painted, and it is, it's beautiful. It's, it's hand-painted. It, it's just a perfect rendering of the Coca-Cola bottle. And he put it on display in an exhibit called The Grocery Store where he also then painted Brillo pads, uh, the dollar bill, and some of the other Andy Warhol elements. Uh, Christie's is going to auction this on November 12th, and the expected price tag is between 12, uh, 40 and $60 million. So Christie's, having read Journey, approached us to help them spread the word about the auction. Uh, not to find a buyer. There, there's probably only five people in the world that are going to be interested in, in buying the painting, and, and Christie's already knows who they are. But they, just the fact that they were able to get that piece and put it at auction, they approached us to do a, a journey story. So this video is not great looking at the beginning. Uh, last week I was in London and we recorded this video with Christie's. It's very difficult to anticipate how much a painting like this will sell for because we, we haven't seen an object of this caliber on the market. In 1962, Andy Warhol took this ubiquitous shape and turned it into pop art. He turned the bottle, which was used everywhere, into classic art and in doing so, invented and defined the pop art movement. He loved the idea that a king, a prince, a man in the street, would enjoy a Coca-Cola in the same way and would enjoy the taste and therefore he liked his art to have that same totally popular uh, sensibility. 
he concentrated on the Coca-Cola bottle because it was the most popular and is still one of the most popular images. This painting is one of my favorite paintings of all times. The beauty, the simplicity, this is pure hand-painted perfection. While it looks so simple, the, the technique and the work and the skill that Warhol exhibited to create this painting is just astounding. Already we're feeling a huge amount of anticipation for the sale. The estimate is 40 to 60 million dollars, so we have high expectations. I did ask our chairman if I could have 40 million dollars and he said no. <laughs> I want that painting. Uh, on this particular story, the Coca-Cola funded the video itself. We hired the film crew, we did all the editorial work, and we produced the video. And Christie's went to the Warhol Foundation to get all the rights needed to be able to, to reproduce the painting. It was a, two, a true collaboration. Christie's also worked with it, and we created a one-of-a-kind four-pack that has the art on each side and says Christie's number three. Those are on display right now at Christie's headquarters in New York. and. Uh, they're having an influencer lunch each day between now and the auction. Uh, and those four packs are being given away to influencers. Uh, so once again, we're spreading uh, the love for Coca-Cola. We're spreading the love for Coca-Cola heritage. Uh, all in a collaborative venture. And all because Coca-Cola Journey exists. Without Coca-Cola Journey, we wouldn't have had anything to offer Christie's. Uh, we will be on site for the auction. Uh, my, I, myself, and a PR team uh, if it breaks the 40 or 60 million dollars as expected, I'm sure that we'll be getting more uh, news stories after, after November 12th. The other way that we help the Coca-Cola company, uh, uh, this is a little bit different. Coca-Cola, yes we sell, uh, we're the lar world's largest non-alcoholic drink uh, company, but we also have equity stakes in several emerging technologies. Uh, Last year, we, we placed an equity stake in Spotify. Spotify is an online music sharing uh, company. And the Coca-Cola company built something called Coca-Cola Place List. Uh, it's a app within Spotify uh, where you can, wherever you are, in my hotel last night, I could have made a place list at my hotel and picked all Brazilian songs out of Spotify and moved it there. Within the archives, we created a Coke archives place list where every single song in there, uh, it had, uh, the singer had to have appeared in a Coke ad or had sung in a Coke ad. And we populated it at first with 15 songs that, that we sort of fed in there. And then we left it open for other people to come along and place their favorite Coke songs in there. Uh, to me, it was it's beautiful because if it's on Spotify, the rights are cleared so we don't have to worry about all the the issues of talent rights with, with past performances. And our fans have, have continued to populate it out. And I think at last count, uh, there were 30 or 45 different songs in there now, all placed by third parties. The other one that we did is, this is a brand new one. It just launched a week ago. So this is, or two weeks ago. This is fresh off the press. Uh, do we have any Lady Gaga fans out there? The Lady Gaga fan site is called littlemonsters.com. And it is done, any little monsters out there? They have a million, 1.2 million, nope. Uh, they, ha they, are, they are on a proprietary software called Backplane. Uh, Backplane, uh, we'll, we'll test how web savvy some of you are. Backplane is a cross between uh, Facebook and Pinterest. Uh, it has a Pinterest type format, you can see the pictures up there, where people will post their own pictures uh, and then other members of that same community can then comment on it. They can repost it within uh, Backplane. Uh, so Backplane is proprietary software developed for Lady Gaga's management team uh, to manage the 1.2 million Lady Gaga fans. Coca-Cola took an equity stake in Backplane. It was just announced about three weeks ago. And the first site that is being launched within Backplane is a heritage site. I think that speaks to the power of Coke heritage and the Coke brand. Uh, to date, our numbers are, are amazing, even me. Uh, it's an invitation-only site, so you have, to, you have to click that you want to join the site. Uh, the URL is up there. It's called 1886club.com, so if anybody wants to see what it's like, uh, go to 1886club.com and click Submit, and then you'll receive an invitation. 
uh, to join the community. After you join, you then can post your pictures. You can comment on other pictures. Uh, if anybody's in the web business, our average length of time on site is seven and a half minutes per visit. So each visitor who comes in is spending seven and a half minutes, and the numbers haven't dropped at all in two weeks. You, you would think that somebody would go in, look at everything once, and then drop out. And the number of posts, the number of likes, the number of comments are going up. We, we did not look for 1.2 million people to join Coke Heritage Backplane. Uh, our numbers were a little bit lower. Uh, we were hoping for uh, 500 within the first month, which we're going to hit, and 1,000 uh, by the end of the year, which we're going to come close to hitting. And these are people that are deemed super fans in the web world. Uh, they are fans of a specific thing, a specific topic, and they spend time there, and, and they love you. There's no advertising. This, this isn't to solicit people for advertising. This is to give our super fans a place, a place to, to meet each other and trade bottles. If anybody from Brazil joins Backplane, uh, where did my can go? If you post this can with the World Cup uh, graphic on it, you will get people immediately going, will you send me one of those? Uh, trading cans and bottles and different packages from around the world is a huge hobby, both on Facebook and we're hoping to, to capture it on Backplane as well.